many kinds of matter, a look at solids, liquids, and gases by Jennifer Boothroyd. Solids, liquids, and gases are all around you. But what exactly are solids, liquids, and gases? And how do you tell them apart? Matter. Matter is everywhere. Matter is anything that has mass and volume. Mass is the amount of material in an object. Volume is the amount of space an object takes up. Trees, lakes, and people are matter. All have mass and volume. There are three kinds of matter. The three kinds of matter are solids, liquids, and gases. Solids. Books, rocks, and toys are solids. This caption says books are one example of a solid. Solid matter holds its own shape. Solids do not take the shape of their container. Marbles fill a jar, but the marbles are still round. The shape of solids does not change when you put them inside a container. Solids are not easy to compress. Compress means to squeeze something into a tight space. Bottles and cans are solids. It's not easy to squeeze them into this recycling bin. Solids do not flow. Solid candies don't spread across ice cream the way hot fudge sauce does. Candy sprinkles are solids. They do not flow over ice cream. Liquids. Oil, syrup, and water are liquids. Oil is one example of a liquid. Liquid matter does not hold its own shape. Liquids take the shape of their container. Water inside a swimming pool takes on the shape of the pool. Water in a square pool takes on a square shape. Liquids are not easy to compress. Milk is a liquid. You couldn't fit the milk in the jug into the little carton. Liquids flow. Liquid syrup spreads across pancakes. Gases. Air, steam, and your breath are gases. Says your breath is one example of a gas. Gas matter does not hold its own shape. Gases take the shape of their container. The air inside a hot air balloon takes on the shape of the balloon. Gases are easy to compress. Carbon dioxide is a gas. It's inside soda cans. It's squeezed into the cans to give the soda bubbles. Carbon dioxide rushes out of soda cans when you open them. Gases flow. The air inside a bubble spreads to fill the space inside the bubble. Matter and changes. Matter can change from one kind to another. Some solids can change to liquids. Some liquids can change to gases. It says the liquid in this cup is changing to a gas. Water is a special kind of matter. You know that water is a liquid, but it can easily be found in all three forms on our planet. So solid, right? You have snow. Water is in the snow form. It's a solid. Obviously, water in its regular form is a liquid, and steam is water in a gas form. Water becomes a solid if it is cooled. It turns into ice. Water turns into ice when it freezes. Water freezes when it reaches a temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. Water becomes a gas if it is heated. 
it turns into steam. Water turns into steam when it boils. Water boils when it reaches a temperature of 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Water at any temperature can change into water vapor. Water vapor is a gas. This change is called evaporation. Some people use a drying rack after washing their dishes. The dishes dry after the water evaporates. Water vapor changes back into liquid when it cools in the air. This change is called condensation. You can see condensation after a hot shower. The water vapor touches the shower door and turns back into a liquid. Have you ever seen condensation on a shower door? Other matter can change forms too. Cheese is a solid. It melts when it gets hot. It changes to a liquid. The caption says bread dipped in melted cheese is a tasty treat. Juice is a liquid. It freezes when it gets cold. It changes to a solid. And it says ice pops can be made by freezing juice. Dry ice is a solid. Dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. It changes back into a gas as it warms up. Dry ice gives off mist as it changes to a gas. Many people use it in Halloween decorations, but it can be dangerous and must be used carefully. We use solids, liquids, and gases every day. They are an important part of our lives and our planet. This nonfiction text on the states of matter includes a glossary. A glossary is a nonfiction text feature that helps us figure out the definitions of words used in the text, just like a mini dictionary. Here are a few of the terms they used in this text that they think you might need the definition of. Compress means to squeeze something into a tight space. Condensation, the change that happens when a gas becomes a liquid. Evaporation, the change that happens when a liquid becomes a gas. Gas, a substance that will spread to fill any space that contains it. Liquid, a wet substance that you can pour. Mass, the amount of material in an object. Matter, anything that has mass and volume. Solid, something that is often hard and firm and is neither a liquid nor a gas. Volume, the amount of space an object takes up. And water vapor, the gas produced when water evaporates.